Hi, I'm Al Waller from the Fortson Library in Hampton, Georgia. I'm an animator, cartoonist, and educator, and I want to welcome you to the next episode of The Wild, The Weird, and The Wonderful. These are short video sessions where I teach you how to draw a cartoon version of something from the amazing world around us. But while I'm doing that, I'm also sharing some wild, weird, and wonderful facts about that thing you're learning how to draw. Here at the library, we're gearing up for a great summer reading program, Oceans of Possibilities. So in this session, we're diving into the subject of the anglerfish. Ah! But before we get started, let's go over a few important things. First, do your best to draw loose and light. This allows you to erase and clean your lines up more easily. And once you get your drawing the way you like it, then you can go back over it with darker lines or a different medium. Next, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video as many times as you need to. In fact, you can watch and re-watch as many times as you need to get your image down on the paper. Finally, relax. This should be fun, not stressful. There's no such thing as a perfect drawing. If you don't like how your image turned out, then move to another spot on the page or get another sheet of paper and try again. Remember, becoming good at anything, especially drawing, takes lots of practice. Now, are you ready? Then get your pencil, your paper, and let's jump in. The subject of this episode is a creature that lives its life in the dark. And that's probably a good thing since a lot of people consider it to be, well, unattractive. It's the deep sea anglerfish. Okay, to be fair, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, which means something that seems ugly to one person could appear beautiful to another. And while the anglerfish isn't built like the typical fish, it is packed full of some wild, weird, and even wonderful qualities that we'll take some time to admire. So let's get started. Here's the cartoon version of the anglerfish we'll be drawing. Remember, we're not trying to make a perfect copy. We're just learning how to build a cartoon drawing by seeing the underlying shapes and using them to create an image. First, let's draw a half circle with a flat bottom. This will take up about half of your page. Now draw a swoopy triangle going off the top and side of the half circle. Finally, erase the line that separates the two shapes. Now it's your turn. You can pause the video while you work on this step. When you're done, press play and move on to the next segment. Okay, the typical fish in the ocean look sleeker and more streamlined than the anglerfish. This is because most of those other fish have evolved for speed. Speed to help them escape being eaten or to be fast enough to catch the food they need to survive. But the anglerfish is different for a number of reasons. First, they live in depths where there aren't that many predators around. Second, they hunt differently. They're ambush hunters. This means they float around just waiting for their prey to come to them. Over time, this way of survival has helped to develop some pretty unusual adaptations. First, let's talk about their mouth. It's huge, especially compared to the rest of their body. In some anglerfish, it accounts for about one-third of its body. Here's what a human might look like with a mouth taking up one-third of its body. To make it even wilder, that huge mouth is expandable. That's right, some anglerfish can open their mouth wide enough to eat something twice its size. Of course, this means its stomach has to be expandable too. This is because in the depths where the anglerfish lives, there are few other creatures to hunt. They may go weeks without seeing any prey. So the anglerfish can't pass up a meal, even if it is twice as big as itself. Then there's those amazing needle-like teeth. Yes, they're used for biting, but they also work like bars on a cage, keeping the prey from escaping. To make them even more effective, in some species, these teeth are depressible. This means they can bend inward 
allowing the prey to be dragged in, but they won't bend back the other way, and this keeps the prey from getting out. Finally, there's the most unique adaptation of all. It's the thing that gives the anglerfish its name. In case you didn't know, the word angler means fisherman. So the anglerfish is a fish that fishes for fish. And it does this with an amazing light-up lure called its esca. Now the esca is just a modified spine from its dorsal fin that's evolved to grow out of its snout. When an anglerfish sees a potential prey, it dangles its esca like a fisherman dangles a worm on a hook. The glow of the esca draws the prey closer and closer until the anglerfish can snatch it up with its huge mouth. In deep sea anglerfish living in the darkest parts of the ocean, these lures are bioluminescent, an adaptation that is so amazing that I'm giving it its own segment, which we'll get to in a few moments. Now let's create the lines for the mouth. Make the bottom line of the mouth flat and parallel to the bottom half of the circle. Now make the top line by starting up around here and drawing a curved line down, connecting to the end of the bottom line. Erase the line that closes off the mouth. Now draw a circle for the eye near the top of the shape. Alright, it's your turn again. You can pause the video while you work on this step. When you're done, press play and move on to the next segment. Homemade Light The deep sea anglerfish lives in parts of the ocean where little to no light can reach. There's a variety of other creatures that live here also, and about 75% of these animals create their own light through bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is the ability for a living creature to create its own light using a chemical reaction in its body. In most cases, this takes place when luciferin, a light-emitting molecule, reacts with luciferase, an enzyme. But the anglerfish is different. It doesn't create its own chemical reaction. Instead, it relies on bioluminescent bacteria living in its esca to produce the homemade light. There's a lot of mystery around these unique bacteria, like how the anglerfish gets them to turn the light on and off, and where these bacteria even come from. Like I mentioned, most of the animals living in the darkest part of the ocean have bioluminescence, but there is a wide variety of ways and reasons why they use it. Some light up along the sides of their body, some underneath their stomach, some around their mouth, and some on the tips of tentacles. And some, like the vampire squid, squirt a bioluminescent liquid that distracts predators while they swim away. This glowing goo can also stick to the predator, lighting them up and making them an easy target for a bigger predator. Whoops. Some fish use blue lights along their belly as a cloaking device. From below, a predator may spot the faint silhouette of a fish against the smallest amount of light coming from above. But by turning on the faint blue light along its belly, this fish is able to blend in and disappear from the predator's sight. While some fish use bioluminescence to escape being eaten, others use it to locate hidden prey. In the depths, red light cannot penetrate. And many creatures take advantage of this by having red skin or scales. This makes them virtually invisible. But the stoplight loose jaw fish has red, bioluminescent lights under its eyes. These work like night vision goggles, allowing them to see their hidden prey. There are other reasons for bioluminescence, like helping a fish attract a mate. And of course, the anglerfish uses that strikingly tempting light to lure prey to its trap. Now we'll create the shapes for the three fins. These will be fan shapes, a bit like triangles with rounded sides. Draw 
Draw lines from this small corner out to the wider edge. We'll do this for the other two fins. I like to start with the middle line, then add the outer ones. Erase this line in the bottom fin. Okay, you know what to do. You can pause the video while you work on this step. When you're done, press play and move on to the next segment. Girls and boys. There's some big differences between female and male anglerfish. First, the females are much larger than the males. Even though the males are smaller, they are more muscular than the females. This is because the males have to swim long distances in order to find a female mate. The females just float around waiting to be found. Also, to help him find a mate in the vast dark depths, the male anglerfish has a super sense of smell. In fact, they have the biggest nostrils, compared to the rest of their body, of any animal on Earth. Again, what would a human look like with this kind of adaptation? What's most noticeable is the fact that males do not have a lure or esca like the females do. That's because males do not hunt. They leave that to the females. So, do the females share what they catch with a mate? Yes, but not by breaking off a piece and passing it over. No, anglerfish have a much weirder way of sharing food. First of all, to find a female in the pitch black ocean is very, very hard for a male. Almost impossible. So when he does find one, he grabs hold and never lets go. Literally. Using hooks on his snout and chin, the male bites down, latching his mouth onto the side of the female. For the rest of her life, she will feed him by letting the male drink her blood. Ugh. And she doesn't usually stop with just one mate. The female anglerfish often has up to five or six males attached to her. Now here's the absolutely weirdest part. In some species of deep sea anglerfish, the male's body starts to merge into the female's body. His own features slowly disappear until he's just a lump on the side of her body. Why does this happen? Well, scientists think that this way of mating and feeding allows the anglerfish to survive on much less food, which is a real advantage when there could be weeks and weeks between meals. Now some finer details. Create these curves along the edge of the fins and erase the unwanted lines. Now the teeth. You can draw them freehand or you can start with guidelines like this. Starting at the top, curving down to the bottom. Then build the teeth from the guidelines. And finally, erase the extra lines.
Your turn. Weird fish, weird names. There are hundreds of species of anglerfish, and there are lots of differences between them, including what they're called. The first one was discovered in 1833 in Greenland. It was an almost perfect sphere, so they called it the football fish. That would be a soccer ball to Americans. Because of its scary look, it was nicknamed the man gobbler. The largest known anglerfish is called the warty sea devil. Other species include the wolf trap, the pugnacious dreamer or tyrannical toad, the flattened goosefish, the spherical frogfish, the snaggletooth sea devil, and the bulbous dreamer anglerfish, just to name a few. Finally, we'll add that amazing esca. Draw a curved line starting from the edge of the top fin. Now draw a line parallel to that line. This can be pretty tricky, so take it slow. Then add an oval shape onto the end and erase the line that separates them. Now add details to the eye shape. You can even add some fun glow lines around the esca. All right, press pause and draw. This completes our cartoon drawing of the anglerfish. You can enhance it by cleaning up your lines, tracing over it with a darker medium like a thin line marker, or giving it some color. I scanned mine into a program on the computer, then gave it darker, cleaner lines and colored it. You can also add other characters to your picture, maybe a background or even add word bubbles and make it into a comic. If you'd like, take a picture of your drawing and send it to me at al.waller at henrylibraries.org. I'd love to see your work and hear from you. If you have suggestions for other sessions for the wild, the weird, and the wonderful, send them to me also. If you want to learn more about our subject today, here are some great books to check out. A Curious Collection of Peculiar Creatures, an illustrated encyclopedia by Sammy Bailey. An illustrated encyclopedia of some of the weirdest, but no less wonderful, creatures in the animal kingdom, including facts about each animal's conservation status, diet, strange quirks, and habitat. Of course, the anglerfish is included. Anglerfish, The Sea Devil of the Deep by Elaine M. Alexander. This book goes even deeper into the life of the deep sea anglerfish. Deep Sea Anglerfish and Other Fearsome Fish by Rachel Lynette. Read this to learn more about this weird fish and other wild creatures of the deep. The Wild, the Weird, and the Wonderful is a service of the Henry County Library System in Henry County, Georgia. So please come by and see us and take advantage of all the assets, tools, and services we have to offer. I'm Al Waller. <laughs>